Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria, and today I'll show you a few ways to create WebXR experiences without knowing a line of code. For this, we'll use three online tools. Before starting, it is better to have an idea of what you are going to create. If you don't have any ideas, don't worry. I have a video where you can see a lot of examples of WebXR experiences and use cases. So watch it to have a bigger picture and learn more what WebXR is. Or you can come up with ideas during the process. Let's get to know our first tool, 8th Wall. This is a collaborative tool for building and publishing WebXR, web-based augmented virtual applications and web games that you can experience directly in your browser. It doesn't require users to download any apps, making it accessible on various devices with internet access. After registration on the eighth wall, you'll see your workplace where all your future projects will be saved. Create a new project and write a project URL that users will see when opening your WebXR and the title. You will now see templates of different projects that you can clone and modify, or you can choose an empty project and create your WebXR from scratch. I decided to choose the face effects and show you a simple way of working with templates without needing to write the code. Here you can see a user-friendly interface with three main sections. The work panel, where you will place objects that will be used in your WebXR. The left panel, which stores all the objects you upload. And the right panel, where you can modify or add components to the selected objects from the work panel. I am going to replace the default glasses with the hard glasses I prepared beforehand. You can create your own 3D objects or find other objects so on Sketchfab, Polypizza or any other 3D libraries. Drag it to the work panel so that it appears in the center scene, representing how it will look on the face or head. We definitely need to adjust the size and position of these hard glasses. When you finish with the adjustments, you can preview how it looks on a person. Click Connect device and choose Simulator. If you see the default glasses, it's because we need to click the Build button to apply the changes. If you are happy with the result, click Publish. There are two options, staging, for previewing or sending the experience to the team or client, and public, to publish for everyone. And yay! You got the link to your first WebFX artifacts that everyone can open and try out. Additionally, you can see the preview on your computer. The next is MyWebAR, an augmented reality platform that allows users to create, publish, and share AR experiences directly through web browsers. It supports various AR content types, including 3D models, images, and videos. And it provides tools for users to easily build AR experiences without needing extensive coding knowledge. Let's create our first AR project on this platform to showcase potential product and demonstrate how they could look in real life. Choose a template or start from scratch depending on your preferences. I chose a template AR in the real world to show how easy it is to make AR for your product or anything. Here you can see several objects that you can add. Try them to see how it works, but for now I'll choose 3D. Upload 3D models you want to showcase. I found this pencil holder on Sketchfab. My web air supports various 3D models format. You can adjust the position and scale of the object. If you have an animated object, you can select options for the animations in the right panel. Additionally, there is a list of actions that you can apply to the object to add interactions, small animations, and transitions. 
You can preview your work via QR code or in the browser by clicking on the preview button. Once you're satisfied with your project, publish it on my web AR platform. Share your AR experience via generated link or QR code. Let's see what we got. It looks good! Now you can see what this pen holder would look like if I buy it. By the way, you can change the loading page to correspond to your brand, add analytics, and of course change the details of the project. And the last but not least is SwiftXR. SwiftXR is a platform designed to simplify the creation, deployment and management of augmented reality and virtual reality experiences. It aims to make immersive content accessible and easy to develop without requiring extensive technical skills or coding knowledge. It is a lightweight WebXR builder framework, which means it allows you to easily drag and drop a predefined components to create a WebXR applications. On this platform, we'll create an image tracking web AR experience, a book cover with a 3D object on it. Select 3D in the Components panel and choose Image Tracking. It will immediately prompt you to upload a 3D model. I found this champion lamp that looks like the one on the book cover. If you change your mind and want to replace it with another object, you can upload a new one in the right panel, where you will find all the options for adjusting this project. Then I'll upload an image that will be a tracking target and place 3D model on the image as I wanted to appear on the book. You can preview your object with your web camera or on your smartphone. It looked a bit small, so I adjusted the position, size and lightning. Now it's ready to publish and see how it looks. I introduced to three WebXR platforms that make it easy to create the XR experiences on the web for different purposes. Take some time to explore their features and templates to find which one best suits your needs. In the next video, I'll show you how to create more advanced WebXR experiences. So, stay tuned!